On the table today, it is all about Fortnite toys from Jazzwares. And as you can see here, I've gotten a little bit out of control. I was not going to go this far, but things kind of went that way um, with the December 1st release of this new toy line. Uh, always excited for a new toy line because it's like, what's going to happen? How big are the figures going to be? Are they going to be painted well? Are they going to be articulated well? Will they play with others? All those things. And here we go. I just ended up picking up more and more stuff. I guess what kind of happened to me was uh, earlier in the week before the official launch date I was at Target and they had this full end cap full of Fortnite toys and I was super excited I was like oh they're out and I bought you know maybe half of what you see on the table and I got to the U scans and then as soon as I scanned one um, alarms started flaring um, employees started dropping from the sky uh, people just all just got around me and said, you can't buy these. You know, they're not available until December 1st. And I'm like, um, but they're on the shelf. Like there's a big end cap and they're like, oh, someone messed up. And so they took everything away from me. Uh, this was uh, like Wednesday, a few days before the release on uh, Saturday. So I was kind of like traumatized. I'm like, what is this? You know, what made me laugh the most is that when you go to Target, all their employees now have their little handhelds and they're like boop 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 beep, boop 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 and and so like they know when something shouldn't be on the shelf so why that was ever on the shelf maybe it was just some sort of weird promotional thing just to get me to want more so when I went in Saturday of course no one knew anything about Fortnite then they're like what's Fortnite I don't know anything and I'm pointing at the Fortnite display and with the with the banners and there's no toys there's nerf guns there now and no one knows anything and this poor girl had to go back into the stock room like three times looking for stuff and I have this feeling she was grabbing from other employees um, stocks stock collections or whatever like stuff that employees were trying to buy for themselves because she couldn't really find the big display of stuff anyway I picked up a few things in the morning and then I was like All right, I'm done I don't want any more stuff and then a little later in the day I went shopping for some Christmas stuff and then uh, at the mall and so then I walked into GameStop and I found a few other things uh, that I didn't see before on that first run to Target so anyway make a long story short I have way too much stuff to look at and there's no way we're gonna get through all this today I was really just planning on originally looking at the solo mode uh, figures I think those are fun these are to me what um, the toys look the best at and I thought, okay, we'll, we'll go through those today. And then depending on how things go, how excited you guys are, I can go on from there and look at some other things. Although I love these loot llamas, they are absolutely cute. The plushes are hilarious and this big box has got me intrigued. I guess these Fortnite loot chests are really popular because they were um, completely gone at both um, GameStop and I hit another target a little bit later that night like a nine o'clock thing and they were all gone so um, they they must be popular anyway I'm talking too long let's get to these solo mode figures and just see what they're about see how Jazzwares did because what's really interesting to me is the turnaround I mean Fortnite just became huge this summer or earlier in spring and summer and that's that's a tight turnaround for getting figures made uh, and they're looking good so far so let's dive into these a little closer all right, so here we are with four of the solo mode figures, the figures that I wanted to see the most. We have Carbide, Technique, Bandolier, and Drift, if I got those names right. I'm not that great at Fortnite. I played a little bit over the summer, uh, and I'm usually one of those guys who gets hit just enough so that I can crawl around on the map for a few minutes, and everyone makes fun of me, that sort of thing. Um, I need to practice more, figure out like what to actually do. I just like the style of the game, the look, it's really cool. The toys look great. And that llama back there looking at us. Let's just begin with Carbide there. I think it's my favorite of this collection. I like the really metallic blue on this guy. Let's get a little closer with this one first. So it looks like Jazzwares again is going with these uh, clamshell-like packages, uh, lacerations and all continuing. I think they did the same with many of the packaging from Roblox. 
Maybe because these look good on shelf, you don't have to open them up and they display very well. Maybe they do this to prevent shoplifting, I'm not so sure. Just get ready to get your scissors out. On the back of the pack, Fortnite Carbide. Heed the call to action, also available. The figures on the table minus Raptor. I could have sworn I had a Raptor, the original Target run. I think that one disappeared on me. But I'm wondering if Jazzwares will kind of run with these like they did with Roblox, where we just get abundance of figures. We will see, I suppose. Well, let's open this up. I'm dying to see how this figure is going to turn out. And outside of the pack with Carbide, and right away I'm extremely impressed with these figures. It's always touch and go when you first open a new line of stuff. And the figure looks amazing, solidly constructed, the joints look tight. I am very pleased with how they pulled this figure off. One of the gimmicks of these Fortnite figures is the inclusion of building materials. He's standing on a wooden plank base, which also subs as a display base. That is absolutely awesome. You can use these building materials to create structures. So far the only thing I'm thinking it will be hard to is to collect enough of these plates to build a giant structure, but I did find that turbo building pack so I think I've got a good start at construction stuff. So for figure articulation, looking good. Head rotation, shoulders, elbows, wrists, mid torso movement, hips, looks like some sort of thigh rotation, knees. I should add those knees are two-pointed and it looks like ankles. Again, the paintwork is really good with these figures. I love the metallic blue. It's really shiny. Really well done with this one. Definitely my favorite. And of course, an accessory. We have a harvesting tool, a positron. Is that a pickaxe? I never get that very far with stuff. But that brings up another really nice collection feature of these that I did not expect and is starting to make a little more sense with the loot chests. The accessories are going to be Common, Uncommon, Rare, Epic, and Legendary in collecting. So that is a great idea. Just like the game and trying to collect things, all these things are going to be coded to Rare and Common and all that sort of thing to make us go crazy. Looks like uh, his Positron is Rare, but you know, the figure is probably Common, so there you go. I am impressed. Let's go look at another one. Next up we have Technique. And I'm assuming she's a constructor. On the back of the box, Fortnite Technique, spray up a storm. Kinda wish we had a little more added story to them. Also available figures. Yeah, I know I had a raptor some point now. Well, let's lacerate the fingers again and get this out of package. And Technique out of package, looking very painterly. I love this weapon accessory she's got going. That's what makes Fortnite so creative and fun right now. It's just a little bit different off the wall thinking. The Technique figure is feeling a little looser than what we saw with Carbide, maybe just because she's a little spindlier or lighter frame, I should say. I kind of felt like some of her leg joints were a little looser, but still a really good figure for fun. What's the size of this? Is this a three quarter, four inch figure, I suppose? A really good size. Look at the detail. She's got paint going down her jeans. She's got some tattoo marking on her arm. This hood is removable, by the way. You probably saw that because it flew right off. Uh, but this toy is looking good, just like Carbide. I've got a little mask on her. I don't know if I can take that off. Maybe if we pop her head off, that would be kind of mean, though. Let's take a look at these uh, materials really quick, though. I think they just snap into each other. Uh, we've got a little pegs to put the players on and yeah there's there's hinge jointing everywhere here so we can uh, snap them together I believe there we go so we can kind of just keep creating structures and we can rotate so that we can build upward when we get enough of these and both of these are in wood this is such a great idea and I think I've already which one went to who I think this was carbides that's the sort of thing that keeps me up at night. Did I get my Fortnite display bases correct? Oh no, who's got whose? Uh, but there is Technique. She turned out pretty good too. Come on, Carbide. There we go. I wonder if he could wear her little hoodie. How cool. So there we go. I like this one a lot. This is probably my second most favorite figure out of the four 
solo mode figures that I picked up so far. And Landry, you're good too. Sorry. Ah, jeez. Next up, Bandolier. Am I saying that correct? Nothing beats the accessory of a harpoon with a shark through it, by the way. On the back, Bandolier, no shirt, no surrender. Looks good, let's open up. And Bandolier, outside of packaging, and these figures just get better and better, each one. This is another tight-fitting figure, I think it will display really well, or play, obviously. Look at this, from every side, the paint, the little details like the little pocket pouch, the boots, this little scarf on his arm, just really make these figures awesome. And of course that weapon. Looks like it's an epic Chomp Jr. harvesting tool. How come I've never got one of those in game before? I just have to play more. These toys so far have really set the bar high for anything else coming out this year. I am impressed. And a pretty good price point for them too, considering. And the last basic figure, solo mode figure that I was able to pick up, we have a Drift. Kind of the creepiest one of the bunch. Drift, journey into the unknown and find your way to victory. Well, let's open up. And it is Drift holding on to what looks like an epic Rift Edge harvester tool. Another really great, fantastic, layered looking figure here. Although the coat feels like a little bit much. I think we can remove the coat. Ah, there we go, although the sleeves of the coat will kind of stay on. That's always kind of funny when that happens. But if you think the coat is too much, you can take off. You could also take off this little red hoodie, although I kind of like the hoodie. That looks good. Uh, but there we have the drift figure, though, just looking good. That mask is really kind of creepy looking, really menacing, very fun. All of these have just turned out great. So there are the four solo mode figures we looked at today. What do you think? I think they turned out amazing. Uh, is Fortnite still a thing? Because that's pretty cool that Jazzwares got these toys out as fast as they did for such a phenomenon. Is that the word phenomenon? Saying. Uh, looks great though. Great articulation, great paint. Looks like this may be very similar to Roblox where there's a bunch of figures, uh, more heroes dropping in soon and a lot of stuff to collect. So. I think this should be a really fun line to get into, although I may have overbought. Running out of time today, just checking out those figures. Uh, hopefully here in the next little bit we can check out the, uh, the Llama Drama Loot pack because that is just probably one of the funniest packaging designs I've seen in toys in a long time. Of course this plush llama is probably the best too, I really like this one, it's so cute. And there's a few other things coming, so that is my first run with Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a note in the comments what you think, and uh, Landry, what sort of weapon should I get ya? I need one of those thermal scoped assault rifles. Oh, I see how you are. Pick something up that's hard to find legendary. Fortnite solo mode action figures can be found at stores now after December 1st, 2018. They run approximately $12.99 each, but with nice accessory display base, I would say they're worth it. Looks like there's several hero skins to collect on opening, and there's more to come. I picked up four today, only 96 more to go for a battle royale. That's what I have to say about that. There were times when squirrels battle royale, but it always ended in a mass tangled tail. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. And it's Rift looking to be holding an epic Rift Edge. Drift. 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 Phenomenon. <laughs>